So what happens when the API that you want to pull data from, um, let's say like Majestic for backlinks SEO data, isn't covered by uh, Supermetrics or Stitch? You know, you're kind of out in the cold. Uh, you have to roll it yourself, basically. If you want to, if you want to have a Majestic integration with your agency data pipeline, you're just gonna have to do it yourself. So, but that's simpler than you might think. So I've added a few um, extra data sources here that aren't, you know, in our demo pipeline, but I want to show you kind of how this works. We've built this framework internally at Coding is for Losers because, um, you know, we, for the pipelines that we maintain, we've had to build probably 15 integrations like this. So first thing is read the docs. I can't, I can't say this enough. I, there's no substitute when you're integrating an API for just reading the docs. Um, for Majestic, for example, you're going to want to figure out which endpoint, you know, they have 20 some endpoints here. You're going to want to figure out which one you really need to get the data that you want. So for us, we're just getting backlink data for a domain. Um, so get back, get backlink data is the endpoint we want. Um, and the second thing, once we pick our endpoint and, and check out the API docs, um, we want to see what kind of authentication the API uses. So if, if it's authentication, like you just enter an API key and you'll, and you can return the response, that's great. That's what we can use. That's called simple authentication or just HTTP authentication. Um, if you need to use OAuth or some more advanced authentication, um, you'll there. There are a few other more advanced options um, that this framework won't work for that. So you'll have to. In those cases, we usually we write like a, a script specifically for that API. Um, so, but it, say it is simple auth like majestic and you just enter API key in the URL, um, all we'll need to do to set this up is essentially copy the actual URL for the endpoint um, and Majestics returns JSON, uh, SEMrush for example returns CSV format, but similarly, um, you know, they'll just have an, a URL like this in the API docs. So we'll take that URL for the endpoint and each so even if you're if you're pulling two different endpoints for SEMrush, call each endpoint a, a different data source because you'll enter it into a different tab. It'll push up to a different table in BigQuery, etc. So really keep them separate. Um, so we'll fill out a line for Majestic. Um, we'll say it's an API with a JSON response instead of a CSV. Uh, we enter the endpoint here, the actual URL. The important thing to note there, since this is like a this is like the master template for this endpoint. You don't want any account specific details. So you don't want like the URL or the, you know, the client, the name of the site in there. Replace the, the account name, which for most of these will be just the domain or URL. Replace that with account in curly braces. Uh, you'll see in a, in a minute how that will, that's, will get replaced in this template with the actual account names that we have in the data feeds tab. So check, so let's just to recap. So you check the docs, make sure it's simple authentication. So just passing an API key in the URL, um, you enter the endpoint and select JSON or CSV, which depending on which type of response the API sends. Um, and then we'll populate which columns we wanna pull from the API. Um, so there's two different functions. Um, let me just make a comment here. Pull with either import JSON function for JSON responses or import data for CF for CSV. Got it. Cool. So basically what we'll want to do is get a test response. So we're just subbing out that account variable for Majestic with coding is for losers. And you'll see that, and we'll use the import JSON function here. Um, see that it returns about like 75 uh, columns and we don't want all of them. So basically what we do is we go through and pick out the headers that we want. So there's about eight headers that we really need to analyze. Um, and in the data sources, we'll add those columns uh, here in column F. So what happens when, when this runs, it'll just 
plot, and this is a script that we wrote internally, it'll pluck out the columns that you want and ignore the rest. Um, and the other thing, the docs is just for reference there in case you need them. And the other thing that you do, you'll want to do is, is just like any other data source, enter the table in BigQuery that it'll push up to. Um, and this will generally also, you'll also want to just name your, the tab that you're pushing, pulling it to. Uh, this is SEMrush keyword, for example. You want to name that tab that you're pulling it to in the sheet the same. So just match up your table names with your tab names just to keep it simple. Cool. So once that's all set up and you have your endpoint um, and everything like that configured and you've, you know, you've tested it out, you know that it returns a response, you know the columns are correct, etc. cetera, um, you can go ahead and actually set up data feeds for it. So for example, for Majestic, here we have... Uh, codingsforlosers.com and let's also return for learn.codingsforlosers.com just to just to test this out um, and what basically what happened is any uh, of these that are set to live it'll automatically I added this new tab here um, just ignore it there's a lot of hidden tabs here that are I'll be uh, be deleting a lot of work in progress but added this tab pull from APIs and also added a button in the header import data from APIs um, cause I realized mid midstream, like building this out, like we do this a lot internally, this might be helpful for you. Um, so let's just, well, that can, you can set anything to any feed to run and basically it'll run any of the accounts in the data feed, um, that haven't run today. So this is assuming you want to run all of your feeds in the same day. Most of these manual kind of sources, like for us internally, we'll run these once a month. So Majestic, for example, you see there's two accounts set up, coding is releases and learn dot. There's two to run, none have failed and none have run. So let's just go ahead and run Majestic and see how this does. All right, so we're, we'll see, we see that that ran. And let's check out. Now we have our links data in here. So to log, you'll notice the um, account name we create, will this will automatically create a name column that has the account name that you're running this for. Um, yeah, and it just returns the columns that we need so we can go ahead and delete the rest of them and save some space if you're gonna, don't, don't blow out your sheet. Um, so that's really it for running APIs. Again, this, this will only support um, JSON and CSV responses with simple authentication. So no XML funny business or anything like that. Um, and later on, we'll talk about how you can, can automate some of this, uh, this data pulling, pulling to uh, productionalize this. Oh, last thing I forgot to mention. Just like any Supermetrics data source, before you're, you're able to push these up to uh, BigQuery, these APIs that we just connected, um, you will have to you know, do the same setup steps. So go into the BigQuery setup tab and add your actual, um, you know, add the table logic and the columns and the format and all that stuff before you can push them up to BigQuery. Just couldn't, uh, couldn't forget about that one.